The space just gives you energy. The culture gives you energy. There was just a moment coming into this building and it was like I have arrived in my career at a pinnacle moment. There's a direct correlation between well-designed learning environments and student outcomes and learner success. The sheer quantity and quality of collaboration space, that's really what sets this building apart. The passion behind STEAM Academy is to become a place where a learning is enjoyable because if you enjoy doing something, ultimately you'll be better at it. We had some students that we were not serving. For whatever reason, they were not learning the traditional way. You'll hear a lot of different phrases that we use. We'll say, greatness has no peak, or where learners become leaders. It's students of all different learning backgrounds and demographics, but you don't really see that difference here. You'll see all students learning. We were doing this innovative work down on 6th Street, and we were making it work, but the workflow of what we're doing over here now in this open space has just transformed uh, and enhanced what we've been trying to do all along. As architects, we, we understand project-based learning because that's, that's how we engage with the world. We, we have projects, and so an educational model that was doing that was so exciting to me because it's something that I inherently understood. Having NextGen as a partner early on was really great for us to be able to help kind of draw out what the real mission of the program is, where they see themselves in five, ten years down the road, and to be able to, you know, create and craft space that directly supported that mission that they had kind of so strongly put together. I think Ross Tarrant's expertise, having built lots of other schools, also gave them a clear sense of where there's some opportunities to do school design differently. And of course, we're the exact kind of school that's like, yes, we want different. We had a voice in the design of the building from ground zero. I knew that my input was going to actually matter and that it wasn't something to say that we did it. It was, it was real. I think we as a school are gonna have to work really, really, really hard to actually exceed the capacity that they built into this space. Daylighting in this facility was really important to our design process and how we were able to transform that existing church into this 21st century learning environment. Being able to kind of open it up and then bring in daylight through use of solar tubes, it really changed the interior quality of, of the space. We have a lot of really intentionally built collaborative spaces that allow kids to work together to make great projects happen. I see the students wanting to, to work more together. It's kind of like, hey, just give us that space, give us that freedom. What I was used to in the traditional setting uh, was teacher-centric. The teacher is in control of what's going on, but that student-centric model is, is totally what, what we do here at STEAM. The space helps us do that job by letting them flex a little bit, get out of the classroom a little bit, to the point that by their junior year, most students are starting to take college courses relatively unsupervised as if they were a college student. So already the kids feel so, they feel like they've been invested in and, and they, they just can't, they can't believe that this is their high school. We worked really hard to design a building that gives kids the tools to not only collaborate together, but be successful in their education. I think now having this building as the public face of what is a really, really strong academic program, I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be a really, really fun next decade. <laughs>